PLOA, PLO, not PLO, PLO. Uh, 40 minute levels day one, hour day two. Uh, we're throwing about four, four levels late, which is fine. I don't like playing super deep in the PLO. Um, so that's fine. Uh, I like between 50 and 100 bigs. I feel comfortable. And I, when it's eight handed, I'm, I'm really good. Except that lady. Eight, nine handed, but short handed PLO. You know, I am not that good. So, uh, you know, uh, I feel good today. And uh, for everybody out there, uh, I see a lot of people watching my vlogs and they're like, why am I on a scooter? Well, um, unless you've been in a, up under a rock or haven't been following me, uh, I had a severe spinal cord injury in 2014 in which I've had surgery. Where I was almost paralyzed. And then I had another surgery in January to put a spinal cord stimulator in. And that has kept me out of all the pain except for walking. When I walk more than 100 yards, I get pain down my leg and into my foot, into my foot which is debilitating. So I haven't had any pain this World Series because the spinal cord stimulator fixed all the pain around my side and back. But, uh, and I haven't been walking. So uh, that's just keeping me in pain. Right, we're on the big Amazon run today for this PLO tournament. Troy, my favorite guy. You know what? I really let you down the other day by yelling. You know what? I will never do that again. Call. You know, I always take care of you. All these other goofballs, I have to yell. But you, but you, you're my man. Say hello to everybody. So this is Troy. Hello, everyone. You know, he's the man. He's been in the World Series. How long? Eleven years. Eleven years. And how long have I been giving you shit? Uh, a lot longer than that. There Since you go. That's the, that's the answer. Card player. Dealer copy. Bam. Mike right. Matisau, 449-3. 449-3. Four, four, three. Four, four, three. That's you. All you. All the best, sir. You get 25,000. Jesus Next Christ. Next thing you know, man, they'll be backing up a truck just to bring your chips. My God. This is so ridiculous. All these chips are stupid. Why don't they just go like the old days? 1,500, 1,500 chips. Yeah, let me have your own. All right, so 449 is all the way in the back, which is good for us. So we are going to go probably run over the, cook, the wall here. Is that a wall? Yeah, that's a wall. All right. Yes, we didn't knock the wall over. Good. All right. Okay, we're here. There it is, you guys. 449, C3, 25,000 ship. Good luck to us. Here we go. We have this beautiful dealer. Betty, look at that. Mr. Matt Giannotti. We have Mr. All-In. We don't know if he'll be around after this hand, so we're not going to ask his name on the wait. All right, so what's your name over here? My name is Jimmy. Jimmy, nice to meet you. What's your name? Um, Travis. I owe you an apology for fucking calling you every name under the sun when I laughed and went <laughs> broke, even though you destroyed my life. <laughs> what's your name? Arnold. Nice to meet you. Pot. Pot is his name. There you go. Uh, nice to meet you. There they are. Two geniuses. Sean. Dave. And the defending champion, Adam Friedman. Trying to hit lightning in a bottle, not once, but twice. I'm just trying to hit lightning once. Friedman's going for twice. You guys are you guys are you guys are gonna be playing head up for a long time unless somebody fucks up. Hey, three-time champion Greg Mueller on the rail. How's it going, buddy? Oh, it's going good, man. Hold on, I'm gonna I'm gonna make a little cruise through here. Like, look at this. We got. Let's take a camera view. Look, camera view of the rail. There it is. Yeah. Mr. Mueller. What's happening? Brand new gold bracelet winner horse. Played really well. Thank you. Uh, I was really expecting you to do a victory lap and jump in this tournament. What uh, what did you do? 
It's I was a, too tired. Uh, yeah, I was I figured fried. that. I really, I really, in hindsight, wanted to. Yeah. You know, but I was so tired. What are you playing right now? PLO or stud? PLO. PLO. Right, well, I'm going to let these guys concentrate. Yeah. They're going to be playing for a while. They will be. It's real I'm, deep. Great structure. Super deep. Great well, that, structure. This is how, what happened at that yeah, horse. Huh? What? The structure, I'm saying, is deadly for, like, the yeah. skill. The best player is going to win this tournament. I mean, well, that's the, the thing with the horse. The, the, what happened was is there were so many good players left. There were so many good players left. Hey, there were so many good players left on the horse. The structure caught up to everybody. Yeah, that was, yeah. And so, I mean. Real hard. I mean but even you guys were still, had, yeah. you still had 25 bigs between you three-handed. If the horse had improved, that the best player wins every tournament. Right. And if this tournament... When Adam Friedman wins, it'll prove the best player. Pretty sick to win. go back to back. You know, back to back. Pretty impressive. But then again, if Sean Deeb loses, I will fucking laugh at him for like years to come. Okay, I've beaten him once. Oh, you have? Well, okay, so then I can't laugh at him. And what he thinks is his best game? Stud. No? But he doesn't. Hey, if Stud isn't in. Hey, if Stud is in his best game, he doesn't have a best game. No. Good luck. Little Instagram video of my buddy Mikey Madison. <laughs> Cruising around the final table. I'm out of here, guys. See you guys later. No, I'm in the Omaha. I'm in the Omaha. Yeah, I'm not going to play a game that I'm not good at. Just focus, man. You're playing like the best fucking player in the world. All right, we're starting the second bullet, PLO. Um, I went broke with Ace Ace 5 Deuce. I was able to pot it and leave 5,000 behind. But they called 8,300 anyway, with nothing going behind. And uh, I lost. So, whatever. I played uh, exactly an hour, and I picked up Aces four times and Kings four times. I never won one chip. Let's see if we do better on the second bullet. Bye. Okay, we are on dinner break of the PLO. Very first hand of the new table on the re entry. I doubled up with Kings. Come back with about um, 15 to 20 minutes left for dinner. The, the guy, there. I mean, if he knows my hand, he insta calls. But he, uh, the flop came Queen 10 6. I had Kings with a blocker. So I bet 3,000. He called. And a small card rolled off on a turn. I potted. Just basically put him all in. And he called. He had nut flush draw and a pair. He knew I had dry kings, he would have called faster, but he bricked off. Uh, I don't like his call. I, I one hole raised it with good kings, and uh, he called ace three, four, seven, ace seven suited in two hole. So I kind of felt like I had gifted that. So I got 54,000, uh, one dinner break, uh, but I'm in two holes. 54,000? Uh, 16, 1200 blinds coming back from dinner break. Uh, we got the one double up right away on the second bullet. We really haven't won any pot since, so that's okay. Um, I like this 1500 PLO. Um, I wanted to get a little practice. I haven't played PLO in a while. And I, I play ring game PLO really good. So hopefully we'll run good. I was back going to the model. I think this is a week of breakthrough. And uh, see what happens. I was only going to play one bullet in this, but the way I ran and, and the car, I was getting a lot of cards. I, I don't know, I just, my gut told me to buy another bullet, so I did. We'll see what happens. And uh, we'll go from there. Last break of the night. Um, got 64,000 going to 1,200, 2,400 blind. I had 90. Uh, I got a little spluey. I'm at a really kind of weak, tight table, so when they check it, usually bet and pick it up. I floated a couple times uh, in position and kind of gave away 13,000 twice. It's 26,000 I gave away, but I got 64,000 and I had probably stole my way up to the 90, so I'm about even in steals and giveaways. Um, plan solid. I don't like the 18500 bet I made, but whatever. 
um, see if we can get out of the day and get, a, get up to 100 here at the end of the day. It'd be nice. Talk to you later. So, um, no, we had a good day. Uh, I ended up re-entering the 1500 PLO because they had like 1200 people. And I don't know, but a couple days ago I had a good feeling about this tournament. And I don't normally play PLO. The first time I played PLO, and I, I didn't play the, well, I played the 10K last year, but I lasted about five minutes. And I just felt like uh, it was the right thing to do. And I, I drew a table, it was pretty weak. Uh, call raids, they, they a dangerous board, they own continuation, they check and they pick up pots. And I probably stole more pots today in this PLO than I have, I couldn't tell you. I mean, they just, whenever they checked me, I'd make a small bet and pick it up. But uh, I did win a couple of big hands, and um, I had as much as 185, and I got 152 at a pretty tight table. I mean, people weren't giving anything away. It was like raise, everybody fold, raise, everybody fold, raise one color. Bet fold or check that fold, which is you know kind of a kind of a, a good, a good uh, uh, table for me to chip up. Those are the type of tables I like nine-handed. Um, it allows me to play more hands. Uh, normally I'm super nitty 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 tight nine-handed PLO, which most people are because you really have to be. I mean, uh, but hopefully I'll get. Uh, Get a hold some chips tomorrow and uh, maybe run good. And uh, you know, I'm not afraid to put them in. I really like the way I play today. I, I've been playing well, so um, I think we're like 20 out of the money. Uh, hopefully, we'll uh, make the money and get a cash and uh, go on a deep run. This is only a three-day tournament, so I'll we'll we'll play down the final table tomorrow, and, uh, which will be at midnight. And if I don't make final tail at midnight, I can jump in the big bet mix, which is a really juicy 2500. So a lot of things going on. I I told you everybody, I, I got a feeling this is going to be my week. I just I don't know. I, I just feel good about my game, about everything I've been doing, and uh, we'll see where that goes. So we're now pulling up to the valet, and I'll uh, see you all for day two tomorrow. Take care, you guys. Day two, Hotlum in Omaha. 152,000 chips, 2,500 5K blinds. So we got uh, 30 blinds, money in Hotlum in Omaha. It's 11.45 a.m. I have not seen uh, this early for World Series because I don't play the 11 a.m. tournaments. We gotta be back at noon or whatever. I play at 3 o'clock, so we gotta be back at 2. Where's our early start for me? Look at this, I picked up a poker dealer, everyone. You remember Hang when on. I gave you my snicker bar? I do. Is it? You Wait on? A oh. No. Yeah, well, we gotta make sure you're on. Alright. Take it. You're looking good, though. We'll watch it again, <laughs> Probably. You doing good this year? I won't. Nah, it's pretty tough. So you're on camera now, say hi. Oh, hey everybody. How are you? There you go. You gotta send Mikey some good cards, either that or buy him a Snickers bar. Yeah, I wanted to. She better, she better like, deal. are you dealing all the PLO today? Or all of them? I don't know. We'll right. find out what's, look at the, what alphabet roulette. That's what we call it. Exactly. Ah, this is good, Mikey. I just sure. want to see if you're going to give me a ride. Well, of course. <laughs> well, you, you're, good for, you're good for my uh, video vlog. Thank you. Yeah. Good luck. Take today. care. See? We got the dealers. Those good luck dealers. Now we're off. Let's see where we're running in time. Bring some people over. I actually got to take a big shit. But I might have to wait on it. That's a... Uh, Kenny, a.k.a. Hallert. This guy needs no introduction to the civilized world. Mr. Uh, Mr. Boatman. Hello, Mr. Boatman. Good luck to you today. Thank you. Sir. Brian, how you doing, Mike? Good, buddy. Good luck to you. 
<laughs> That's uh, hey, Mr. Eric Seidel. Carson. Carson, Mr. Carson. Dylan. Mr. Dylan Lynn. Great new book out, by the way. Paul. Paul, nice to meet you, Paul. Nice to meet you. You're in a pot. Never mind, I'll get you later. Pot. Pot. See? Pot. See, I told you his name was Pot. The power of suggestion. Right? There he is, Ruben, the dealer. <laughs> I think it's time to go back. How you doing, buddy? Long time no see. How you been? Good, good. Good, cool. Yeah. How are you? Um, Not bad. You're doing, doing good. You're doing, doing, uh, what are you doing? You're doing I'm doing my podcast. I got my, uh, I'm doing YouTube videos. I'm doing my YouTube vlogs. There he is, everyone. Alan Cunningham, the legend himself. Peace. Five-time bracelet winner trying to get a sixth. Uh, you, what do you want? I've been trying for well, my fifth for a while. I haven't been trying that hard because yeah, I'm, not, were, paying, cause I'm not playing the, like, the 10Ks. The 10Ks, right? yeah. Every turn I play has like 1,000 oh, yeah. people, so that's not exactly trying Yeah, they're hard to win. Yeah. But you had a lot of chips in. in, in Dang, in the big 50. In the big 50, right? 28,000 people. I had like... But you had 20 million. Yeah, more than 20 million. Which was like above average, right? Right, going into day, uh, day four. But, did, I mean, but then you just, and I, at some you point... You catch it. At some point, you run out of cards. That's well, like, that's they should have just made that thing the first day, 30 limit, minute levels. Maybe oh, that's not, well, you know, that's like a gift to the players to give like a huge yeah, play. Yeah, it was a cluster fucking. Yeah. It, it was. What are you in now? Uh, I'm in there. Yeah, if I get knocked out, I guess I'll play the big guy. Yeah. Yeah, so I'm in the uh, 1500 PLO. No, I'm, I'm playing the, the 600 to start. Oh, okay. yeah, I'm not in anything. The big bet mix is eight great for you. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I played it two years in a row. I've gotten 11th and 13th. I like that. But it's a day really two good. Of the PLO, right? I mean, day two of the PLO is like uh, 150 left. I got like 200. We're, we're going to 48,000 lives. Plenty. All right, man. Good seeing you, Alan. We the dinner break of the PLO. Um, there is 54 left. Um, they, uh, I think they nine times six. So I think they're breaking the table right now. Um, right after I paid my blinds, but it's fine. We're going on dinner break, and normally somebody's raised every time. This time, nobody raised. I got ace ace ten three with an ace ten of diamonds, and I decided to limp the small blind because this guy's raised every time I've limped the small blind. So I limped, and he, he checks behind. Comes king, nine, four flop. I bet 25. He pots it. I just know he has, like, kings and fours. Or, I was just sure he had two pair. I have 100 left. And I just said, it's going to dinner break. I don't want to leave myself 100. I got back to running straight cards, running diamonds. And I catch him nine if he has kings and fours. And I called, put it in. Hit kings and fours and nine right on the turn. Ace on the river just for the hell of it. Get a complete double up to 306 on the dinner break. Uh, now we're going to 10, 20,000. I've got uh, 15 big blinds. And uh, this table's been terrible. We're getting ready to go to a good table. Talk to you later. So I busted the uh, 45th and the PLO. I then, um, by misclicking, uh, a long story. I'll get into it after. And then I just busted my first bullet of the big bet mix, getting down 10 6 and no limit deuce against one now right now. Uh, A or B? I don't care. So, uh, oh, I get the exact same thing I just busted out of. That's funny. You want it? Yes. There you go. You know why? Because that's hard to do. Alright, so I busted the big bet mix. I kind of gambled. He re-raised me. I thought I was beat, but I gambled with 10-6. And um, now I re-entered. And now I drew the exact same seat back to back, 449 seats. I missed you guys for so long. That I actually drew. Everybody wave how, how, how yummy I am, everybody. Ready? Everybody wave to the camera how yummy I am. Hello, Carrie. How you doing? How's are it you going over there? Us or are you really coming back? I'm really. Why would I lie to you? Wow, we had such a jackpot Fuck off. <laughs> <laughs> they said they'd make this an unlimited reentry for you, Mike. One thing I have to say is, um, 
I mean, this was uh, definitely not a good day. Um, the last two hours, I started with 13. I was down to like five. I was in the whole hour between four and six thousand. And it's like 1,500 around, but I survived. I finally, I went to no limit hold them. I moved all in like five straight times. And uh, I got to 11,000. Uh, they broke our table with Carrie Katz and uh, Alex Fox, who had literally no clue how to play every game except for Nolan and Nolan and Paul and Omaha, which kind of sucked. Even when I had 6,000, I was expecting them to double the up or double me up. Uh, it was pretty disappointing that I, uh, I never won a hand. I mean, I just broke 60th place. They paid 30. They paid 38 spots, that's 22 out of the money, and I won a total of one pot on two bullets in whatever, how many hours it was, five hours. Uh, after I kind of, I should have took, probably should have took a little bit of time off after I busted the PLO. Uh, I know it's the right thing to do, but I didn't realize that the blind levels were still so low after playing, they had been playing for uh, seven levels, seven hours, and they were still at like two, four hundred blind, 15,000 inch chips. So if I knew that, I would put a little time off. You know, I would have un unwound for about 45 minutes, re signed up, and uh, maybe I dusted off that first fucking bullet. But uh, this last bullet, I couldn't have played better if I tried. I mean, I let Alex Fox I guess a two outer on the fucking river, and uh, that cost me twenty thousand. I was down to five. I doubled the ten. I doubled the twenty, and then I proceeded to just kind of never have a hand lying down. I went all the way as low as four thousand. <laughs> Sorry, Bob. I could have moved in. I would have. I, I literally gave myself three extra lives. And no limit hold them at the other table. That if I would have moved in, I would have got called and not broke. So I gave myself three extra lives, and I ran the 45 to 10-5. No, 11, 11 five that last hand. I knew Ryan had shit on the button when he made it 2,000. So I just moved in with a pat jack 10. 7 8 Jack 10, and then Lissandro re pops it out of, big, out of the big line. And I know he's got a 9 at least. So I break the Jack 10 uh, to the 3 7 8. First card I catch a 5. So I'm like, boy, this would be one hell of a comeback if I could hit inside here. That would get me back to like 25,000. But it was a paint, and it wasn't meant to be. So, um, <laughs> it was 22 out of money in one of the best tournaments of the year. And the last two hours I was worried about staying awake. I took another quarter out of all and I, I was really focused. And I made it 30 minutes from the end of the day. Um, the only regrets I have today is I didn't sell that 25,000 ship where I accidentally min raise and it cost me half my short stack in the PLO, and then probably should have took an hour off, at least a half hour, to get myself together. Um, playing great, I like the way I play. I'm pretty disappointed right now, uh, but we'll see, we'll see what happens tomorrow. I mean, this is a uh, few full days, this is uh, no limit to tomorrow, 10K, so. We'll go from there. Alright guys, take care.